everyone. It's Stacy from Peony Lane Designs. The come. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. And I'm home from the 4th of July. I've got work. I've got work. I've got work. I've got work. We've got things coming in this picket this week. The week after that is the all city sale. Yeah, we're not missing that. It's just, it's a lot. Plus I made an eBay sale of $200 for those little snow babies that I had and uh, two Etsy sales over the weekend. So I've got a lot I got to get done in terms of I have to go pack some stuff, but I also have some projects that I want to finish up. And one of them being this. Remember, remember, if you didn't watch that video, uh, this scammed everybody. It's a total scam. I flattened out the paint as best I could. And we are going to uh, put more paint on. We're going to layer the paint and give it a proper chippy peely look without it being um, some weirdo woodblock crap. Um, this is all the yellow I'm going to put on it for now. And uh, now I get to pick colors, which I'm working with my colors. I think for sure I want to do a green. The dog just laid down in front of my door. She's so happy to be home. She loves going away. And at the same time, she loves being home. Just like her mom. Love going away. I love coming home. So for this piece, I want to do at least four colors, I think. So we've got the blue as the base coat. And then we do we want green as the top coat or pink. or a more neutral. Hmm. We've got the blue and the yellow and I could do a green over the top cause blue and yellow make green. And then do like a neutral over the top. And you know what? I hate it. I hate gray, but I haven't done a layered paint with a gray. So maybe, maybe we do it. I think maybe we do it. What do you think? Should we do it? Let's do it. Um, I have this green. Oh. I know. What did I just roll over? I have no idea. What was that? I got nothing. There's nothing there. Is there a mouse in here? I don't think my cats would allow it. Anyway, I've got this Martha Stewart eucalyptus green. I picked it up for 50 cents at a garage sale. I think we used it on one project. You know what? I'm wearing non-painting clothes. I'm going to go put my apron on. Um, kind of a gray green. Not quite what you're expecting with the bright blue and the bright yellow but it would be what you were expecting if you mixed in the gray. So I think I'm going to go with that and then we'll do the gray over the top. Let me get my apron on because I do not, do not want to wreck. I only have so many clothes that don't have holes in, in them and paint and I have to wear those for a real job. So I'm going to put my apron on right there. Be right back. I grabbed my distressing candle while I was at it because this is what we're going to use to give it a chippy peely layered look um, instead of a wood block. So I'm going to rub wax. We've used this technique many, 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 many times. Wax distressing. Um, it's a wax resist. So this is, the wax will resist any paint you try and put over the top of it. You know how when we always tell you to clean your pieces and get as much of the furniture wax off of them as possible? This is the opposite of that. This will help the paint come off easier. And I am gonna rub my candle all over the edges where I want paint to come off. And then I do cheater layering. Um, 
this has more paint than I probably need on it, but a lot of times I will just put paint where I, I know I want the paint to come off. So I'll put like, instead of covering the whole top with yellow like I did with this one, I'll just put some yellow on the edges and then patches along the legs, things like that, where I know I'm going to want to distress. And this doesn't have to be a special candle. It's just any candle you have lying around. I prefer a white unscented myself. And Ikea sells boxes of these tapers for really, really cheap. And they're nice to have on hand for parties too. <laughs> you know, right side. And you go for a party too. So I am going to put wax all along the edges because that's where you're going to want to see distressing. And then I'm going to intensify little areas where you would see a lot more wear. Okay. Now we're going to paint some green over the top. Okay, so now we gotta let this layer dry. It is not perfect, nor should it be, because we this is not our final coat. This is just one of the colors that's gonna peek through, and I forgot how much I love this color. I mean, it looks a little blue on there when I see the, the monitor, but um, in person, it's just such a lovely green. I, I really, am, I'm gonna be heartbroken when I find out she don't make this color anymore. She needs to make this in a gallon size for me. Okay, so it's got the coat of gray on it and it's all dry. Well, it's dry enough. And we are going to distress it. Now, to do that, I'm going to grab a wooden stir stick. Because I've done the wax distressing, the edge of anything hard will take off the paint. And I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to move this to the edge. If I do that, see how it starts to just come off here? right here, real easy. That's the wax. And I put wax all along the edge to make that easy, but not, I didn't, I didn't make it perfect, like all the way along the edge so that you get those random spots. But there's also wax here, there's wax up here. So I am going to just keep scraping. This has a lot of paint on it, there we go. All right, so we have distressed. I am gonna grab the sandpaper now. I probably actually used my electric sander. I think so. Okay, so do this. doing this with an electric one is a little tricky because this will power right through. So what I've got on here is a piece of sandpaper that's almost like, it has almost no grit. It's almost like polishing it at this point. So, I mean, this has been used, you can see it. So I'm not gonna take that off and that's what I'm gonna use to give me a little more distress. And I'm not pressing down, I'm just lightly. That's it. And you can see, I'm gonna get you close here. Let's see if you can see it. Some of the green has come through. Some of the blue has come through. It has worn just a layer thin so you can kind of see the hue of the green come through. Um, I already know I'm gonna put a glaze over it. It looks too modern with the gray, so. I want to darken it just a bit with some glaze. So I'm gonna take a cloth, a damp cloth and get all the dust off. And then we're gonna do a dark glaze on it. But it's pretty, look. So you can see the greens 
the yellows, the blue coming through, and I actually went down to the wood in some places. Um, yeah. So it just looks like a raggedy old stool that somebody had in their house and it'll look more authentically raggedy with the glaze. Um, I need to get a cloth. I don't have one in here. I forgot I used up my shop rags and I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Here we go. Got a little dark place. I just got this broken paintbrush I decided to use. Got a damp cloth. And you can see the difference. You can see from here to here the difference the glaze is gonna make. So we're definitely gonna glaze it. I like like the deepened dirty look. When you're gonna distress something, it should look decrepit. Got a raw wood there. I'm gonna let that one sit for a minute. All right, so I'm just gonna continue on with this and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, here's the results. Just a distressed, Footstool, obviously I didn't do it underneath it. I don't care what my husband says, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Most people are not looking underneath that bloody thing. So it's all dry, it's gonna get a price tag on it and it's going into the shop. I think I'll take this one to Vintage Junkie this week along with the cabinet that was in here. Um, get some pieces in there and yeah, get on with my life. Anyway. That's everything I have for you. Thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.